Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing good today. Today we're doing another candy video. If you just stumbled across this video randomly, then my name's Beth and I like to do these candy makeup videos where I take inspiration from candy packaging or the candy itself. Uh, this could include chocolate or just sweets. I try to make it into a makeup look. I do focus a lot on the eyes, but yeah, that's what this series is all about. And today we have got a request of the lovely Terry Carr and she said she wanted a uh, Aero chocolate mint. So we're gonna do Aero chocolate mint today and oh my God, Aero chocolate mint are so good. I haven't even had them in absolutely a long time. Like it's gotta be years since I had an Aero chocolate mint, but I love those chocolates. So I'm looking forward to getting into the green. We have done a quite a lot of warm tones, browns, golds, all that. We're gonna dip our toes into the green and I like a bit of mint. So I'm gonna try do a mint color. It is gonna be hard with the colors I've got because I've got this NYX palette and this looks quite blue. So I'm gonna have to do a bit of mixing, but we'll see what we can come up with. So yeah, if this sounds interesting to you and something that you'd like to watch, then make sure you stay over here with y'all. And don't forget, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps out. And if you wanna see more of these, then make sure you subscribe button. You might as well when you're down there. So yeah, let's go into the Aero Chocolate Mint. I've prepped my eyes with the Revolution Fast Base Concealer. I absolutely love this concealer and my nails are absolutely hideous because I just don't have time to do it. Well, I do have time, I just can't be bothered. We're gonna dip into the Macaroons, the Imagination, and the NYX because not all the colors that I need are in one palette. So that is the struggle. Which one we're gonna dip in first? I feel like we need to dip in with a slightly lighter color for the chocolate. And I might go in Macaroons for this. Yes, <laughs> they've even got a chocolate shade, which is perfect for this makeup look. So I'm going to go in heavenly bite actually no let's go in almonds first um we're gonna be naughty we're just gonna put this right into the eye socket get that bad boy in there get the nuts in there and this is gonna be coming off quite pale but you know it's something to start off with isn't it if you've randomly clicked on this video Tell me how you found me because I'd love to know. Yeah, I just find it random when people find me and where they found me from. I just love to know where you found me. That'd be so awesome. And if you're wondering what the hell this video is, I have done other videos of candy videos. I've done, I've made a, I've made a playlist because by the time I put this video up, there'll probably be more candy videos that I've done. So I actually don't know when I'm actually putting this candy video up, but. I've made a playlist called Turning Candy Into Makeup. I'll be in my playlist section and you can look at all the videos of what candy makeups I've done. And I've done a mixture between hard candy, so sweets and chocolate. I haven't done a lot of chocolate, so that's something I wanna do more around, but it is still classed as a candy, right? I don't know. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have got this going on. Uh, we are going to go straight in to Heavenly Bite. Bite. By the way, this is the I Heart Revolution Macaroons palette. Macaron, macaroon. I don't know. It's adorable. I keep the box because it's special. And we're just gonna take this. I'm gonna try leave the front part of my eye section quite bare because that's where the mint is gonna go. I'm gonna have to try mix some mint in because I don't have one color that is like specifically mint. So we're just gonna set Heavenly Bite there. This should warm up the eye out of corner a bit. Oh, oh yes. Okay, I feel like I need to take a smaller brush for this bit. Right, I don't know what brush to get. Maybe this one, it's got black in it though. I don't know, it looks black, but I'm pretty sure it's not black. Right, we're gonna go with some chocolate. Give me that chocolate and we're gonna get quite a lot of this onto the brush. We're gonna place this into the eyelid and crease. I feel like I'm too low there. And we're just building this up like that. Oh my God, I don't know why, but it gives me a headache when I do my eyeshadow like this. Like if I use like a really pointy brush, it gives me a headache. Maybe I just need more water. Oh, it's got a bit too high. This is my bad eye, guys. You're gonna have to chill. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know. 
I just get weird when I'm doing that eye. I just don't look symmetrical. What am I doing? <laughs> I'm just putting yellow on my fucking eye. But I don't think that's a brown enough. We need to go in some mad brown. So this is where I need some imaging. I'm gonna go to the imaging say <laughs> Gonna go in the Imagination palette and we're gonna go in Imagine. So it's just this sexy brown here. It's like it, it's got, a, I don't know, it's just a brown. So we're gonna place that onto the eye because I feel like I need some more brown. And I feel like this will give me more brown. Yes. Okay. I'm feeling it. But this eye is certainly not feeling it. This is my struggle eye. So what is everyone up to today? I love to know, I love chatting to you guys. Is everyone all good? It's currently Friday, Friday. It's currently Friday the 14th of September. So depending what day I put this up, we could be two, two months in advance. I, I just haven't planned where I'm gonna put this video up, but it is now Friday the 14th and we're going to the weekend. I've got nothing planned, like usual. I honestly, I don't have anything highlighting for the weekend. I never, it's always pretty boring. I am currently gonna be moving in three weeks time from this date. So I need to get a crack on with some packing because I've got a lot of stuff to do. Okay. Right, so this is the moment where we need to shine with the arrow thing um so it's like that color i don't really have that color so i'm gonna have to mix up with the mint blue in this green i'm gonna have to do some mix in here so that's what i'm going to do uh, there we are always lose this so where i've kept it quite bare the front of the eye portion of the lid well, that's where we want the green going so i'm gonna i'm gonna take slightly dense brush because this way it can get most of the pigment and i'm literally throwing myself in there deep Whew, delicacy and then we're just gonna pass don't rub yet and look at that straight on the bonnet <laughs> i don't know if this color is suitable because it is too freaking blue so i didn't know what to do about this but we're just gonna do it and this is where i'm gonna mix in and make my hand blue we're gonna mix in with this green because we need to be more arrowy this is the only thing about these palettes like you lose the pigment when you blend so you just have to be like careful okay i am i just feel like i'm not that arrow green do you know what I mean we're getting there just need some more green we need some more green okay so I feel like we're getting to the green it just takes a bit of a mix in but you know not everything goes on straight away you got to put some work into it okay so I feel like we've lost the chocolate so we need to go back into imaging you need to give me some brownness so we're gonna go into imagine again what we put as a first color it's going back in really it's all about in and out in and out shake it all about okay so we have got that so far and i must say it is actually okay i'm feeling it i am feeling it but it doesn't stop there guys because we're gonna add the shimmer Woo! we're gonna go back in the macaroons palette i'm so sorry if i'm saying that wrong because i actually don't know myself and we're gonna go in the shade icing which is like this green so we're going to take our finger and we're going to put that onto the eyelid of where the greenness is because we want to make this pop see i we're making it pop 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 eyelid pop oh now we're going to go back into imaging we need your back on and we're going to go into her butterfly color everything is a mess we're gonna go back into butterfly no we didn't go into it but we're going to butterfly we're gonna pop it into our inner corner pop 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 oh we're popping oh we're popping right there you see that right. so we're gonna do the lower lash line because they just need sorting and we're gonna go into imagination <laughs> imagination we're gonna go into imagine and we're gonna take that 
into our lower lash line. But to be fair, I think our base is gonna cover this anyway, so. Okay, and then we're gonna go into <laughs> the NYX Ultimate Bright Palette. We're gonna mix these two bad boys again and just put, <laughs> I literally thought that was a mirror then. Went for it, uh, put it here. I am going to do my other eye off camera because you know, it could take a long while. So be right back. I don't know what I'm saying. Right, be right back. We're gonna move on to the base now and I'm going to go in my primer, which is the Delilah Cosmetics Underwear Future Resist. <sighs> Future Resist Skin Primer, this bad boy. And you know, I keep saying it, I'm running out and it's still going somehow, it is still going. It just doesn't want to end, which I'm so happy for because I, I love this stuff. Next, we're going to go in the foundation and I've actually ran out of my Revlon colors today now. It is official. So this is where the Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation comes in. And I, I'm really loving this stuff. It is on par with my Revlon, I think. But the only thing I don't like about it, and I've said in the testing video, it squirts out everywhere. So what I've been doing, I don't use it by the stick. I use it... On my hand I applicate it on my hand because uh, I just prefer it like that I'm gonna go into a beauty blender beauty blender beauty blender beauty blender I feel like I've left something out and I don't know what I'm pretty sure I haven't but you never know I'm gonna leave my eyebrows on from at work because I genuinely genuinely I can't speak genuinely cannot speak can't be bothered to do them and I feel like they're okay, they're not too bad. Puff it into our skin and we need to get the concealer on. I am looking like a ghost, I am. Oh, my old Halloween is just around the corner, so it's all good. Maybe this is the wrong skin tone for my face. You can never tell. And I just feel like I look like a vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in the concealer what I shade at the start. And I am just gonna place where I need it. But basically everywhere. Jesus! I literally look like a vampire. I don't know what's going on. And I'm gonna go to Imagination because we like a bit of pretty heart under our eyes. That is cool. That is the powder shade if you're just wondering. And we're just gonna powder where we concealed. And then we need some major bronze, bronzing going on because I am looking like, I don't even know. Is it these lights? It's gotta be these lights or something. We're gonna go in literally. Well, this is gonna make me look gray. So I think the bronzer will help, hopefully. We're gonna go in Cayute shade and I always use this for my bronzer. So let's hope it makes a difference. <laughs> I've been putting a bronze on my nose recently as well. I've been enjoying it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in my Bleeding Heart Blush by I Heart Revolution, and this might make me more alive. That's a bit better. What do I need to do? Highlight, sugar. I'm gonna use the I Heart Revolution Guava and Rose. Spritz, spritz. Oh. Oh, that, that is a dodgy spray. <coughs> And we're going to highlight. So, we have got the I Heart Revolution Chocolate Alexa Glow, which is this bad boy. Everything's a bad boy in this video. And we're just gonna mix it. Look at that. Whew. Right, we are going to go in with the lips, which I'm really excited for because, actually I'm not. I'm really struggling with the lips. I don't know what to do with the lips. I feel like this is gonna to be too dark for me. This is the I Heart Revolution Mermaid Metallic Lips in the shade Siren. Yeah, about this. It's gonna to be too dark. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do yet. I'm putting it on. Lovely. Right, I need to get makeup wipe. Right, okay, so it's gone on my Freaking gin. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I look a bit more alive now. I think it was the foundation lips that just made me look a bit alieny. Um, yeah, that needs fixing. Oh, we'll do that later. What am I gonna do for lips? I don't. I, honestly, I don't bloody know. 
I've got an idea, right. Guys, you're gonna have to chill. So I'm going to go in the Mermaid Metallic Lips in the shade Enchanter. I'm gonna put this on first because I'm gonna pop on some fairy, fairy dust. It's not actually fairy dust, but it's eyeshadow dust. And it's in like this minty green. So hopefully it can stick to this lip gloss. So I'm gonna put this on first. It might come out pink because I've been mixing it up with things. Okay, right, don't freak. You're gonna freak. I know you're gonna freak. This is a look. We're loving it. We're gonna go in this. Honestly, this is unbranded. I think this is like from Debenhams or something from like 10 years ago, but we're gonna use it. Uh, it's one of those things when you have as a child and yeah, you go for Christmas. We're gonna put this fairy dust on. I don't know why I keep calling it fairy dust. It's literally, it doesn't say that, but we're gonna put this green. <laughs> it's blowing over. No, no, it's not working. I thought this was gonna be great, but it's not hard. I want it to turn out. This is gonna be great for Chapped Central. Do not wear this. Okay. I don't even know. Yeah, I look like a tally tubby right now, but yeah, I look scary, but we're loving it. We're loving the vibe. Right, we're going to move on to mascara. I'm going to use a Maybelline Last Sensationals mascara and hopefully this can like do me justice. Uh, probably not, but it is a makeup challenge, okay? I am trying my best to create the Aero Mint Chocolate makeup. And to do that, I've got to try out wacky colours. You know, colours that I'm uncomfortable with, but at the same time, it's always good to try things like you wouldn't try before. That's what I think anyway. It's always fun trying new stuff. And I can't stop looking at my lips. And I can imagine you guys are like staring at my lips right now. Like I could, I would actually wear this to like a rave or something though, these lips. I think they look pretty cool. I've done my mascara, I've left my eyebrows, but I'm still doing my lips because they keep going like sparse. Oh my God, these lips though guys, I can't get over them. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is a really crazy look with the lips, especially. I really like the eyes. I think the eyes are different. I think the eyes really like complement this grey jumper I've got going on and I've really hurt my wrist. It really hurts, but yeah, <laughs> what we're saying. That was probably a bad idea. So guys, here's my attempt at doing the Aero Mint Chocolate Bar makeup. Uh, thank you for Terry Carr for requesting me this. And yeah, this look is really crazy because I cannot stop looking at my lips. They just look really chappy, crusty. I know they look bad, but yeah, this is my attempt and I'm really happy with it. I think the eyes turned out okay considering I didn't have the specific color for Aero Mint Chocolate. There was a lot of mixing involved, but we got there. Um, yeah, I do like the eyes. I don't like the lips, but I think they would look really cool if my lips weren't chapped and if they were a bit darker, because I do look like, I don't know, I, I just feel really pale and I've got a feeling this light above me does not help either because it's casting shadows, but yeah. If you want to see any more makeup looks, then make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. That'd be so awesome. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it. And don't forget, let me know in the comment section what your favorite candy is, chocolate, wherever. And if you want me to try recreate that in a makeup look. So yeah, that'd be so awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna go. I would ask Dan's opinion of what this makeup is all about, but he's not in at the minute, he's at work. So yeah. Actually, let me try find him on Find My Friends because I am the stalker. Uh, I am like one of the stalker girlfriends. I'm like, where are you? No, I'm joking. I'm not there. Actually, I think he's come in. Oh, I can hear him come up the stairs. I can ask him what your opinion is. Hold on. Yeah, that's not him. It's the girl opposite. What do you think of this candy makeup look? You're not on camera. Yeah. Right, okay. So what do you think of this candy makeup look? Yeah, it's good. Like no, okay, what am I? Why is it all open? Because I needed your opinion. It's beautiful. What am I? Um, I don't know. Um, 
Hmm. I'm a chocolate bar. No, you're not. I am. I am a chocolate bar. Think of the green, a think green of the mint. I'm minty. Minty fresh. Yeah. yeah. You got it. I'm not a lemon. So guys, that is it for my video. That was my opinion from Dan. I think he likes it. This time I'm not a lemon. But yeah, I'm just talking to a door. He's not there. But <laughs> that's enough from me. And I hope you like this video as much as me filming this video. Yes. I'm gonna go now and I'm gonna try. I don't think I can go to the doctors like this because if I went to the doctors like this, they probably, yeah. I don't know. I'm not gonna go to the doctors like this because yeah, let's not let's not go there. Right, <laughs> I'm gonna go now guys and I shall see you in my next video. Don't know what it's gonna be. So it's gonna be a surprise for you and me. See ya!